So this is the Raspberry Pi that I was telling you about. This is the USB stick that has the videos on it. This thing's about the size of an Altoid box, very small. Um, I'm just adding the power to it now. You'll see that it comes up on the screen. It's basically a Linux computer, so it spits out a bunch of junk when it starts up, but it's telling you that it's starting up okay. As long as the USB stick is plugged in and this thing gets power, within about a minute it'll start displaying whatever videos are in the USB stick in a loop. Um, there's no pause, there's no remote, there's no way to stop it. You know, it just goes and uh, goes repeatedly. There should be audio as well if there's audio in the movies. It'll output through the HDMI or through the audio port on this thing, so it can be hooked up to external speakers. You can see there's a countdown timer from 10. That can be changed to immediately start playing. It can also be changed to start playing internally without the USB stick, but then there's it makes it difficult to change the movies out. So you see there it goes. It starts playing right away. So pull the stick out. It'll just stop playing and wait for a new stick to be put in. If you put in a new stick, well, in this case, this is my old Raspberry Pi that's a bit worn out on the power connection and I reset it by accident, but it would just start playing the videos again. A new one of these wouldn't have that problem. So if it does lose power during the show or whatever, uh, trips over the cord, you don't want to replug it or whatever. There's nothing else to do. There's no remotes to look for. You just plug it in and it starts playing videos. Very handy. So, um, altogether it's probably 50 bucks. It's like 35 for the Pi. It's 10 for the case and then uh, an SD card. The newer ones too, I think, will boot off of internal and they don't need a, an SD card to boot from. Um, so that's it. Pretty simple and easy. And, uh, could do the job for a trade show. Thanks.